Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here, and I welcome you to yet another Ice Boxer video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about 3D render, and that's what it's called in the window layout wizard, but really it's just a fancy term for either uh, upscaling or downsampling. Again, that's upscaling or downsampling. Um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with those terms, hopefully you will be by the end of this. Uh, also, fair warning, I, there is a windstorm outside. It's a little breezy and my, my sliding glass door is open, so uh, deal with it. Just, just deal with it. But um, before getting started, if you, if you do want to use this, I strongly recommend that you watch the monitor layouts video that I, I released previously. What, it, what that's going to do is it's going to teach you how to create um, computers with displays, dummy displays, uh, so that you can take measurements when it comes to figuring out the right resolution. So it'll make more sense as we move through this. But anyway, uh, we have, right now we've got a 2560 by 1440 display. We're gonna be going through some hypothetical situations as usual because that's the only way I can explain these things. So we've got a 1440 layout and the main, well, all the regions, but the main region shows that everything's rendering at 2560 by 1152. Just to show that that indeed holds true in game. If we look at the resolution options, we can see 2560 by 1152 right up here. Okay? Okay. So, anyway, hypothetical situation. Let's say you're playing at this, and I've used this situation in the past. Let's say that you're pushing your hardware to its absolute limit. You've already dropped all of your settings, and you're like, God, I need to upgrade my hardware, but I can't afford that right now, right? Well, okay, well, then your options generally are dropping your frame rate, which can sometimes suck, or using... Um, changing your layout through either working area or main window size. Those are two other videos I've already released. So if the 3D render option here isn't really to your liking, then I suggest checking out either the main window size video or the working area video. Links in the description as always. But what you can do then is you can actually tell IS Boxer to internally render your game clients at a different resolution. Because when you try to, as you just saw, um, when I was in the options, the option for changing the resolution was grayed out, right? I can't actually change the option of the resolution because it is enforced by your window layout. So if you don't want to uh, sacrifice the size of your window layout, like you like it this big, you like being able to see all this full screen for the most part, it takes up your entire screen, right? Well, you don't have to necessarily sacrifice it. It's maybe not the best option in the world, but I'm gonna show off how to do this anyway. So this is our everyday normal layout, right? What we're going to do is we're going to drop the resolution down internally to save on some on some hardware. Now I'm not I'm not monitoring the hardware, but this is just again just a hypothetical situation. So what I've done is I've created a computer with a 1920 by 1080 display. I'm going to assign that to my character set, and we're going to go in and we're going to make another window layout with this size. So I'm going to just pick the same exact layout we're using. Um, the reason for this is so that we can maintain aspect ratio throughout all of this. Because if we change the aspect ratio, then you either get a really squished down or stretched out um, look to your game when it has a different rendering resolution. You, well, maybe you do want that, but I would say that people normally won't want that. So just stick to the same resolution. It helps to just play um, by the rules and stick to the same layouts every time you're trying to make a template and whatnot. So, this is our 1080, and I, uh, this is our 1080 screen. And again, you can look over here to the bounds. You can look at the width and the height, 1920 by 1080. And we're going to go back and select that. So we're just going to select this. We're going to call this the 1080 template. Great. So now we've got this template over here, and this looks exactly like what we were just using. And there's a bunch of people outside. I live in a bad neighborhood. I expect the police to be here shortly. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad of a neighborhood. <laughs> anyway, we look at the size of region one. It's 1920 by 864, right? 1920 by 864. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna copy that information. And we're gonna come back to the character set. We're going to remove the computer so that it uses our default monitor size. We're gonna go back into the window layout wizard. Whoops. We're going to set the 3D render to what I just copied. So paste that information in there, hit enter. It fills in the other values. And now we're going to find the same layout we've been using this entire time. But here's what I have to warn you about. 
the top layouts, if you've got existing layouts already, which we do, the top few, the, the existing layouts are going to be at the top. We do not want an existing layout. What we want is a brand new layout. So this right here, it says existing window layout in the top. We do not want this. We will continue to move through the list until we reach this again. This is a brand new, we're going to recreate this layout with the 3D render size of 1920 by 864. So we hit next and we'll call this 1080 upscale. And when we look at this particular layout, we're gonna see what we have an extra region here. This region, when you click on a region, it populates the information over here on the right, is 1920 by 864. Well, that's a familiar value, isn't it? If we look at the swap groups tab, we can see that the reset region right here is set to, is set to region six. And if we look at the slots tab, we can see that no slot is using region six. So region six is only being used for the reset region. And if we look at the description of the reset region here, we can see that it says this will typically force the game to render at the size of the reset region. So by assigning region six as the reset region, we are forcing, well, we're, we will be forcing all of the other regions to render at 1920 by 864 and then be scaled up to 2560 by 1152. So if I export this and we launch a slot, I'm just gonna launch one slot like I had before. We can look at what the resolution is in game. You see it's there, it's small and then it gets blown up, right? You can see that maybe it's a little blurry, maybe it's a little weird, the text is a little weird, and that's what happens when you upscale and you, and you, and you downsample here. So if we look at the resolution, we can see that right here, we're, render, we're rendering internally at 1920 by 864. And Icebox are scaling that up to fit our 2560 by 1152 region size. So this will help reduce the load being put on your hardware. This is an option that you know is available to you if you need this if you need that to happen if you need to reduce the load so what we're going to do then now is we're going to do a down sample um, uh, example but the reason why you might want to do a down sample exam a down sampling here is let's say that you've got your monitor again 2560 by 1440 you're monitoring your hardware to see what it does, and you're like, I've got some room to upgrade. I wonder if I can upgrade to 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. At least UHD 16 by 9 4K is 3840 by 2160. So you're wondering if you're gonna make that jump, but you're not sure, right? You, you just, you don't know. So how do, you, how do you do this? Do you make the purchase and then find out, oh, this sucks, uh, my 4K display, my hardware can't power my 4K display now, at least uh, not when multiboxing. Well, you don't have to. You can simulate using a 4K display through downsampling and through 3D render. So what we can do is we're gonna to go to the character set. I've already got a computer with a 3840 by 2160 display it, uh, created on it. So we're just gonna drag this down here. We're gonna follow pretty much the same thing I've been doing the, the entire time. We're just gonna to go to the window layout wizard. With the 2160 display attached to the character set, I'm just going to go create a the same layout again. Again, this is not exist. This is a non-existing layout. This is a brand new, fresh layout. We're going to pick the same exact size we had before. I'm going to hit next. We're going to go 2160 uh, template. We're going to come into the template. We're going to look at the regions, and we can see that region one is 3840 by 1728. We're going to take that. We're going to copy that value, and then. We're gonna come back to the character set. We're gonna remove that computer so that we're once again using our default monitor size. We're gonna to go to window layout wizard. We're gonna change the 3D render so that this is populated with 3840 by 1728. And again, we're going to choose a brand new, freshly created layout through the wizard. We're gonna call this 2160 down sample. And when we look here, we can see that region six once again is, is present, but it's gigantic, right? It's gigantic because it's 3840 by 1728. Whereas the rest of our regions here, we're looking at that same 2560 by 1152. So this is the region size, but they're going to render at 3840 by 1728. Remember, reset region is set to region six and region six is this big old size right here. So we're going to export this. Minimize, launch, slot one.
You'll see it'll start gigantic and then it'll downsample itself. And again, the text is still a little weird. Um, the reasoning for that is because, uh, well, here, if we look real fast, we can see the resolution is 3840 by 1728. So here we are simulating a 4K display using that same layout on our smaller 2560 by 1440 monitor. And if you were monitoring your hardware, you know, prior I said you would have been monitoring it, you, you knew you had some room to upgrade, you would then launch your character set like this with all five game clients and then monitor, continue to monitor your hardware to see if your, if your hardware in its current state was strong enough to handle the upgrade, right? This is an easy way to see if you can, if you can handle the upgrade in display size. So there's that, but uh, what was I saying? I was just saying something. Oh, um, the reason for the text still looking kind of weirdo uh, is, well, this game, World of Warcraft, has a resample quality option, but this doesn't affect, this doesn't affect Innerspace at all, right? So if Innerspace had a resample quality option for bilinear or bicubic, or there's, there's several other um, different types of resampling that are available, if Innerspace, I don't even know if it's possible, but if Innerspace had an option like that, then it would be able to clean up the text a little bit better. But otherwise, um, this is it. This is how you use 3D render to either, again, upscale or downsample. So hopefully this made some sense. Hopefully we didn't go too long. I don't think so. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to show. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Mirai out.